Blog Talk Radio. WMCO, welcome you to the Miss Computer Lady Show. Computer tips, tricks, advice, and also interviews with independent recording artists, national figures, including those from the Toledo, Ohio area, and live remote broadcasting worldwide. Be a sponsor of the show. Email to the best is here. The number one at gmail.com. Again, the best is here. The number one at gmail.com. Now your host for season four. The one, the only, Miss Computer Lady. Praise the Lord. Good morning, good evening, and also good afternoon. For some of us, it is a good morning. You are tuned to WMCL, blogtalkradio.com. I am your host. Miss Computer Lady, thank you very much for tuning in. To all my families, hello there. Good to see you, virtually anyway, and thank you for tuning in. A lot of people are saying, Miss Computer Lady, you usually don't do a show that's aired in the morning. <laughs> usually I don't, but I have a special reason to do this, and it has been a long time coming, and it's finally here. I have a fellow 419 Diva in the building. Been waiting to talk to her for a long, 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 long time, but the time has finally come. Don't have too much time. I'm going to get right into it. May I present to some and introduce to others fellow indie gospel recording artists. I would call it Eva Melody T. Hey there, lady. How are you doing? Hey, good. How are you? I'm doing good. Thank you for coming by. Great to virtually see you. Yes, I'm excited. I'm excited. It's good to see you, too. Yes. <laughs> Thank you again. It, it, it's quite early for both of us, so y- y'all going to have to, you know. <laughs> I know, because I'm sitting here like, Lord, I just, I'm trying to get my voice together. I've been singing, and, and it's early. It's early for me, too. Mm-hmm. No, but that's okay. We're going to, as they say, make it do what it do. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see, I might have to go all over the world with uh, this one because in about a little bit, there's going to be a quick break, and then we'll get back to everything. But I'm going to start with something I discovered on YouTube that I didn't know. So let me start off with this question. I saw you playing the keys so wonderfully on on the organ right there. Besides the organ, any other instruments do you play? Um, no. I did used to play the drums years and years and years ago when I was a little girl. But I was like a tomboy, so I felt that's how it was, so I got out of that until I got oh, to my girly girl stage. So no, no guitar and nothing like that. Just the just the piano and the organ. Oh, okay. All right. The uh like I said, the one thing I do know is like I said before, y'all she can sign. Make sure y'all have y'all seat belt fastened. <laughs> but in addition to that, uh, as far as your singing, uh, how did you get started? Wow. Um, you know, I grew up listening to the greats like the Clark Sisters. Uh, my oldest brother introduced me to Rance Allen when it back okay. way back in the day. Um, also Vanessa Bill Armstrong. My mom used to listen to Maddie Moss, Dr. Maddie Moss Clark and the Michigan Mass Choir, Michigan State Mass Choir, um, just different people like that. And I had a friend that it was a brother's, let me see, James D. Sherman, his friend by the name of Timothy Thornton, introduced me to the Winans when I was a little mm-hmm. girl. That's how I really got started, when I heard Marvin Winans. Everybody, they already know. Everybody's listening that knows how I feel about Marvin Winans, <laughs> they already know. That's when I really got into it. I started singing, I guess, around three and in the church, but I really knew what I wanted to do when I heard Marvin Winans. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Mm-hmm. Anybody in the Marvin Winans camp? Hey, dear chef. <laughs> that I want to give a shout-out to? Yeah, you give a shout-out to Okay. What did you say again? Repeat that again. Oh, that's okay. I said anybody in the Marvel Winans camp. I said, hey, Bishop. Oh, yeah. Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. People that I know that's in Detroit, and y'all know how I am. Hello. And shout out to Bishop Marvel Winans, too. <laughs> oh, definitely. 
definitely. Yeah. The, uh, now, the other thing I didn't uh, know was that you uh, also do preaching as well. Uh, when did you first start doing that? My first message was when I was 23 years old, and in the process, I knew the Lord had called me by the age of 16, but I wasn't ready. And I went through a lot of things in my life um, as we go through our disobedience stage. And I was like Jonah and ran the opposite direction because that was something I just did not want to do. However, God got a hold of me. I finally truly have surrendered to the Lord, and now we're preaching uh, more on a regular basis. But that was back when I was about 23 years old. Mm-hmm. And I started ministering the word of God. Anybody in your family also sings and preaches? Lord Jesus, yes. Um, I, I must come from a legacy of line of preachers. Let's see, my dad, for those who know Bishop James R. Sherman. Hi, Daddy. Shout out to you. Dad is a prolific um, orator as well. And my brothers, James and Eric, they're both pastors. James and Eric Sherman, I have cousins and preachers and pastors on the Ramsey side. Uh, the Cummings, both of my grandmothers, Luvenia Cummings and Luvenia Sherman, they were both preachers. My uncles, a host of cousins, uh, the Mitchells, my uncle Carl Mitchell, who passed away a couple of years ago, Bible Way Temple. My cousin Bruce Mitchell, you know, they're all going to be home, going home to be with the Lord. Just a legacy of preaching and singing. Mm-hmm. Greg Mitchell, my brother sings, uh, some of you know Bishop Calvin Ramsey. Right. So we yeah. got it honest. We got it honest. Oh, okay. Uh, you mentioned some of your musical inspiration. Um, I know they were from the gospel side, but I do have a feeling there were some on the secular side <laughs> that probably influenced you as well. <laughs> you know what? I that That is such a... A taboo subject because of what the music, the um, secular music industry stands for. But if I had to name, if I had to name anybody, it would probably be Jill Scott. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. It would probably be Jill Scott. I really try my best not to listen to the secular artists. Uh, they're magnificent in many of their gifts, but I just don't want to taint anything that I have, and even when it comes to creativity, I just want it to be totally inspired and God-given through the Holy Spirit. But if I had to say somebody, it would probably be John. Right, mm-hmm. and, and, and and that's understandable, and, and that's all right, because you got those who, probably like me, who love a great number of music genres, and not the others don't, but they're ones who are favorites, and they stick to that particular job. So that's that's right. Okay. That's right. That's okay, and, that, and nothing's wrong with that. That's a personal choice right mm-hmm. there. You're right. Where yeah, Where would you like to perform? Where would I like to what now? Perform. Oh, wow. Anywhere that the Lord would have me. I, I really want to get into areas and venues where there's not a lot of gospel music mm-hmm. so that I can reach the masses through word and song. Um, it would be nice to sing the Star Spangled Banner one day at a game. Ooh. That would be excellent. I, w- I would love to do that. I'd probably, for those that, you know, you know, y'all know how I am personally, so I'd probably faint before I do it. But <laughs> I, <would. laughs> I don't know what this is, but the Lord, <laughs> he just, you know, just, just a nervous person when it comes to doing ministry. After I get going, you know, I'm okay, but you'll never know. Right, right. But, um. Yeah, I see the the stadium for some for a game, different places like I said, venue where the where the gospel needs to be heard, sung. I like to do more things outside. Um, we're going overseas soon, so just wherever the Lord wants me to go, I'm willing to go. Thank you, thank you. I just want to do what He wants me to do, Sister the Computer Lady. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, uh, where uh, where overseas will you be traveling? Say where you said where will I travel? Where where overseas will you be traveling? Scheduled to go to Europe, or they're scheduling that, uh, different areas in Europe and also the Bahamas. Ooh. So, yes. Hey, I'm not sure where, but I'm really looking uh-huh. forward to both of them, but really the Bahamas. Okay, great, great. And again, congratulations to you. Praying for you.
you thank now and wishing you the best. Thank you so much. Same to you, always. Thank you, thank you. You're Let's welcome. see. Who would you like to open for? Oh, my. Well, praise God. Of course, I love to open for Bishop Myron Winans. Uh-huh. Yes, shout out to you. Um, I would. I love Marvin Sapp. Oh, I love okay. to open for Marvin Sapp. Um, I love absolutely adore CC. Mm-hmm. CC Winans, Yolanda Adams. That's kind of almost kind of a tough question, and definitely always have had a dream to do something with or open for Kurt Franklin. Oh, okay. Those are some uh, powerhouse people you mentioned as far as gospel industry is concerned. Yes. I've had a chance okay. to open for Tone and uh, Kimberrell before. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Kimberrell, oh, very powerful singer. And, yes, uh, she is. Yes, yes. Although he calls himself another name by now. Yes. Uh, That's pray for B. Slade. <laughs> <laughs> That's his name now. He's old. Yes, Just yes, pray yes. for him. Yes, Lord. Beautiful <laughs> person. We all fall, but we need to get up and we need to pray for our brothers and sisters that, you know, do fall into temptation, that the Lord would just have mercy on them, give them a chance like he has done for us, and bring them back home. Mm-hmm. Just bring them back oh, home. Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, and speak life over Tone. Oh, yes. And, yes. And, and you see, that's what's needed. A lot of people probably thinking, we didn't know the show was going to go in this direction. You have to understand the atmosphere for the day. That's right. That's right. So, y'all heard Mr. Pierce Zadie say for speaking life because, as it's worth it, life is this and is in the power of the tongue. And uh-uh. what are you seeing right. in the atmosphere? That's probably why it's happening. Yes, Lord. Amen. That's so true. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. If you were not singing, before we take this break, if you were not singing, what would you be doing? Oh, wow. Hmm. If I wasn't singing, I'd be a nurse. Okay. And I'd probably own my own agency in nursing. Oh, I'm mm-hmm. looking newer in the world. Yes. That's what I'd be doing, going, yeah, going back to school more and more and more. Yeah, the, there are some, well, not that all fields are not like that, but there are some fields in which the schooling is quite intense and needed, and nursing happens to be one of those fields. That's right. That's right. Right. And I worked in the medical well, field for many years. Right. Mm-hmm. Was it as a nurse or in another capacity? No, it was in another capacity, in the laboratory. Oh. But I got a chance oh, okay. to see so many things, yeah. Wow. Quite a multi-talented lady, not only with that part of the medical field and in singing and in playing, but I take it you also enjoy writing music? Oh, yes. I love it. Um, Writing for me is like an outlet. Mm -hmm. Anytime I just need to get away. And most of my songs, of course, like with any writer, I'm sure, whether you write music or poems, whatever the case may be, comes out of your, our birth, is birth out of your experiences, Mm -hmm. your life experiences. Um, This last season of my life, a lot of love songs came out of me, a lot of worship songs to the Lord. Mm Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. So um, I will say this. Uh, I didn't know that there was someone on the line, but I think someone is uh, calling to say a quick hey. Uh, a fellow oh, great. Niner. Yeah, and and for the person holding, thank you so much. I didn't mean to take a long time, but y'all have to excuse me. We haven't talked in a while, so Miss right. Lady, <laughs> get her in first. <laughs> But yeah, call her, hold on. I'll, right, call her, hold on. I will be getting to you after the break. Uh, let's see. Actually, which will be happening soon. 
You tune in to WMCL, blogtalkradio.com. We'll be right back. Bye. David Bold's Management and Booking Agency, in association with Pay Up Management, Mickey Benson. We specialize in providing the best in celebrity bookings for your concerts, club openings, festivals, weddings, walkthroughs, special appearances, and other special events. David Bold's Management and Booking Agency. Celebrities from genres including pop, rock, techno, country, alternative, and adult contemporary. For more information, call 909-653-2614, or you can email us at mrdavidbolds at gmail.com, or the best is here, the number one, at gmail.com. David Bowles Management and Booking Agency. Just a quick question to ask you. In case there okay. is someone who has been out of the loop as far as computers and they need a retrain, what would you suggest? I would strongly suggest that they make a commitment, not tomorrow, not the next day, but to now, to get retrained. Because I made a commitment this year that I was going to sit down and actually learn how to use my Microsoft Office suite. Mm -hmm. For years, I've been just able to manipulate the emails, um, you know, do a, a few little things in Microsoft Word and just say, okay, but I realize everything is so, has changed so much and become so integrated that I needed to step up my game and I mm -hmm. needed to take the time and invest in my future. Do you feel that the training from your computer needs of Toledo LLC helped you out? Oh, most definitely. I'm so happy that I had an opportunity to meet you and to be able to get, you know, this private training because I see so much has changed since, you know, my introduction to Microsoft Office, mm -hmm. and I'm just glad that I'm, you know, recognizing that I need it to be refreshed in it and not just let it go, because by next year, next two years, it's going to be, it's going to be completely different again, yes, and I really feel for the people that are not taking the time to learn how to really thoroughly use their program. Okay, good. So it's a great experience. Okay. Thank you for coming. Oh, you're welcome, and thank you as well. Get your opportunity for online and on-site computer training and consulting. Visit the website at www.yourcomputerneeds.net. You can also call 419-304-4564. And we are back. Going to have to take a different route with this particular uh, last couple minutes of the show. Uh, for those who would like to try to call in, and I didn't even try <laughs> to call that number again, 727 uh, Make sure you press the number one, and I'll bring you in all the callers. This is going to have to be really short. Let me start off with the one uh, that held on the longest, and thank you. Caller from the 419, you're with Miss Computer Lady and Miss Melody Tate. How you doing? Caller from the 419, are you there? Uh -oh. I hope they call back to us. Uh, let me do this. Let me uh -oh. get who's next. Uh oh. I hope they call back soon. Uh, let's see. Now, this is, let's see, 404. I know that's Hotlanta, <laughs> as they call it. Call from the 404. You're with Mr. Pew Lay and Ms. Melody Tate. How you doing? Oh, okay. Hi, Hi. Hear me? Hello. Hello? Hello there. How are you? I'm real good. How are you today? Oh, good. Who is this? This is Heather Aristide, former Toledoan, now a Georgian. Uh, ah! This is my cousin. Big love, cuz. Hey, what's up, cousin? How you doing? How doing? I'm still a family. How y'all doing today? Doing good. Doing, doing good. Good, good to hear great. your voice, girl. Yeah, I know. Same to you. Congratulations. Yes. Uh, continue blessings. I just wanted to tell you I love you and keep doing what you do. Thank you. I love you so much, too, cousin. Thank you so much. Keep us in your okay. prayers. I will do, and you do the same for me, okay? Okay, we will do. Computer later. Computer lady. Yeah. I'm sorry. Love you. Keep doing That's what you right. do. All right. Thank you, man. All, all right. right. God bless. Bye-bye. God bless. All right. Bye-bye. All right. right. Let's see if we can bring the fellow 419er in here. Call her from the 419. You're with Mr. Computer Lady and Miss Melody Tate. How you doing? Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi, this is Nicole Ross Bird. Hello. Colin. Hello there. Hello. Hello. How are you? Good, girl. Hot Atlanta. Hot Atlanta is hot today. <laughs> How are you doing, <laughs> Prophetess? 
I am wonderful. I'm thankful. Now, I want to know real quick. I, of course, I came on to support you because you know I just absolutely love me some Melody. Of course. Sure, I love you too. Um, Thank you so much. I want to know, will you be giving us a sample of vocals today? What, what's up? Yes, you will be doing it in just a few minutes. <laughs> if computer okay. lady pushes the button. <laughs> okay, okay. How you doing, Lady Amber? How are you doing? I'm doing great. How are you? Wonderful. I am thankful. Great show. Oh, I just want to support. I love you. I'm not going to be alone. You. <laughs> okay. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Uh, yeah. You just hold on so we can hear this. Uh, thank you so much for this particular caller here. Let's see. Caller from the 732. You are with Mr. Yeah. Kiera Lady, Miss Melody Tay. How you doing? Hello. I am Kiera from Nettie, New Jersey, <laughs> representing <laughs> CLG. Hi, I'm yes. Melody. Hi, baby. How you doing? Good. I'm Hi. so proud Thank of you. Thank you. Oh, Lord, y'all going to make me cry. Miss <laughs> Computer Lady, this is my niece from the 732, oh, okay. representing Jersey Church of the Living God. Shout out to yeah. my people, Pastor Barbara Ward Farmer. Hey, y'all. Hey. Oh, hey. I, 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 what they say, out there in Jersey? <laughs> yes, out in Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> hey, baby, how's it going? Everything is great. I'm so proud of thank you. you uh, thank you. Thank you so much. Long time coming. Yes, yes, yes. All right. Thank you very much for calling. All right. Y'all gonna get that. Y'all gonna get that two hour show back, Billy. Let me tell you. Okay, lady. Uh, before we go, gonna do this quickly. Uh, what's coming up? What's coming up? Oh, let me see. Let me think now. Let's see. I'm in Akron, right? Within this weekend in Toledo area. Um, working on the C D, working on some things. Gonna be back in Tampa soon, working on some things. We have a concert coming up June the eighth. This is a fundraiser celebrating the fiftieth anniversary of Bible Way Temple. Uh right. that night. I don't have the exact time as of yet, but we're going to have Chris Bird, who is gonna be our host for that evening, myself and some friends. We also have Derek Lawson and Life Song. He's going to be coming out of Akron, Ohio. He just released uh, another CD. You'll get more information on that that night, or you can Google him. And we have a surprise guest coming, but I'm not at liberty to say who it is. That's Praise God, I've been instructed right. not to, so I hate to get in trouble with my comrades oh. and business partners. <laughs> <laughs> no, we won't do that. Let's see, reverbnation.com forward slash Melody Tate, M E L O D Y T A T E N, C D Baby, dot com, four slash C D, four slash F I L A. Well, make sure y'all get that. <laughs> and make if sure y'all missed y'all it, it, yes. If you missed it, Google Melody Tate. Yes. And you'll find her that that That's the thing of technology. But to ask her another technology question at another time. Okay. Because uh, we got to get ready to go. But before we go, lady, you know what the request was. <laughs> Where was it? <laughs> just, 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 let's see. What's, what they say in some industries is to give me a 16, which means you can give me a little short thing or something, something. Lord Jesus, let me see. Nicole, I love you. This is the only reason why I'm doing this. At what time in the morning are we? Who's computer late? <laughs> It's going to be close to 9.30. Oh, and believe me, uh, Evangelist or Bert Ross wasn't the only one who misses your voice and would like to hear it. <laughs> Lord, have mercy. What can I sing to you, Lord? <laughs> I really do love you, Lord, with all my heart, my heart and soul. Oh, 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 oh. I really love you. There you go. <laughs> lady, <laughs> lady, I, lady, I love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you, too. Thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Oh, you are so welcome. Everybody, Miss Melody. Hey.
Melody, yeah, yeah. When I consider what you do 